Hey folks, Twisted Christian here. Today I'm going to be discussing XRP and how to put in a buy limit order for XRP. And so the platforms that I'm talking about today is Uphold and KuCoin. Now first, uh, both of those links are down below in the description. Uh, but you can also purchase XRP on KuCoin. I have not had the opportunity yet to buy XRP on KuCoin yet. Um, right now, I am focusing on Uphold. KuCoin will be my backup as far as XRP, but also on KuCoin, we talked about the prophetic ETN, Electronium. So that's where right now you can buy ETN. So if you guys have bought on KuCoin, uh, you can comment down below in the description how your experience is. So today we're going to talk about XRP. And XRP is currently around a dollar a dollar and seven cents so on uphold I'm going to show you guys how to put in a limit order now before we get into that uh, you have to figure out how much money you're spending what your budget is how many coins you want all together and that this coin actually fluctuates and it fluctuates a lot folks it was just up to a dollar thirty nine a week ago and it's already down to a dollar seven and it actually crashed to 83 cents on September the 9th and the and the very next day on September the 10th it actually went back up to a dollar 24 so there's definitely opportunities to make money uh, but you need to figure out you know how much you want to spend how many coins you want all together and also to prepare yourself for any type of flash crash and so that's what one of the things that now daily bread was talking about Prophetically speaking, that there's going to be a flash crash, that it could you could see it actually go down to anywhere from 30 cents to 25 to 20 cents for XRP during this uh, flash crash event. And we've discussed how Bitcoin in the prophetic, and also not just in the prophetic, but out there in the world, and what some people are saying, like if they ever find out who really created Bitcoin, Bitcoin would crash to zero. So we're prepared. We're preparing ourselves so that's why I need you to show you show this how to put in your buy orders because if you don't put them in now you can't wait till the flash crash because what's going to happen is just like a lot of different trading platforms when there's a massive sell-off a lot of platforms are down the app is down then you try to go to the desktop you might be able to log into your desktop but it won't allow you to buy so there might be all these different scenarios and it, it may not affect everybody or every single platform uh, when this does happen, but a lot of people have dreamt and prophesied about the buy button won't be available for you to hit buy when it's crashing. And the other thing is too, and I will have to do a video on it, but when the time period, what people are saying, when this flash crash, mostly dealing with XRP, is going to happen. So that will be for another video. So you have to figure out your budget, how much you want to spend, how many coins you want. You know, Are you going to try to day trade it or swing trade it? It just all depends really on your budget. So for me, if I had, say, let's say, for instance, my goal on this particular platform is to have 1,000 XRP here soon. So currently, I sit at 417. Some of that I got just from swing trading. So I didn't have to put as much money in. I had to put a little bit of money in. But if I swing trade it, then I'm able to gain more XRP without having to put any additional money in. So really quick, I'm going to show you here on Uphold. The link is down below in the description. On your right-hand side, it says anything to anything. It says transact, repeat, or limit. So what you're going to do is you're going to set your limit. Click on limit. And you have your from. And you have this middle bar, which is USD. And then it's two. So I have $18 in my USD account number two. And then select the USD to account. Right, I only have eighteen dollars in that. But let's say I want to set it up. This particular amount of eighteen dollars, I want to set it up. So if it does flash crash, to say I want to maybe set mine at thirty cents. This all depends on how much money you're spending. So if you have, say, you know what, I want to set up three hundred dollars in buy orders. 
just in case it does flash crash. Some people have have said they're going to set some at fifty at fifty cents, forty cents, thirty cents, twenty cents, twenty five cents. Because what's going to happen is just because you have a, a order put in, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually going to trigger, right? So some people may have multiple orders set up when the price does go down or it flash crashes and it's able to pick up the order on its way down and maybe it'll pick up the order on its way back up. So after I've selected the from, you're going to have an option here that says use max. So you so depending on what you want to do, if you want to put in your own amount or just use the max. Right then there's these two options. Click the sell for your limit order, click the buy. Right now we're focused on the click the buy. And then from there you're gonna click on two. Once you click on two, it's gonna be two XRP. And my target price is, say, let's say I, I'm going to set this certain amount at 30 cents. So that's going to give me 60 and a half XRP. And then you click Preview, and then click OK to to, to complete the order. Right? And then you will confirm it, and then that order will be set. So that's how you would do that. And at some point. As time goes on and I'm able to put a little bit more money in here or there. But when I start to see certain signs that are getting ready to occur, that's probably when just like a lot of the other prophetic stocks and currency that we discussed on this channel, I'm going to be do I'm going to be doing a lot of things as far as getting money to these accounts. So some of the prophetic signs that we're looking for XRP, first of all, is the lawsuit and whether or not it's going to be dropped or settled. Some people say if they settle the lawsuit, it's going to cause the price to go down. So we look for a flash crash. If XRP decides to settle with the SEC, then we also look for if the case is dismissed and where the price is at now, it could skyrocket. You know, it could go up to 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks. But we're still looking for the major crash. We talk about all the regulations. We talked about South Korea and what they were going through. And, and, and possibly shutting down all the, all, almost every exchange that's operating. And then you look at the worldwide regulations. And we also look at the prophetic how things will just change overnight. And this thing is going to come quickly. And so I will do a video on the Nile Daily Bread. And she's talking about the flash crash and when this is going to occur. As far as at least from one prophetic vision. But I just want you guys to be prepared to be set up until Coinbase and some of these other trading platforms allow XRP to trade again. Then right now, these are our, our only choices unless you're using a VPN and all that. I'm not telling you to do because there's always risks with that. And there's a lot of people say, hey, they're fine. You know, uh, you can comment down below your experience with the VPN. That way other people can look at those comments. And that's something that they might do, especially if they don't like using KuCoin or if they don't like using uh, Uphold. Remember, folks, you can always also uh, have an XRP wallet. Now, in and as far as having the XRP wallet, uh, I haven't I haven't used the wallet because I used the wallet for a different cryptocurrency before, and I got locked out of it, and I lost everything uh, in that one particular wallet. It was just one uh, one particular coin. It wasn't even that good of a coin. But uh, once you get once you get locked out and you don't have all the information to try to get back in, there's always that possibility that you'll never be able to uh, unlock that wallet. Now, the way that platforms are operating differently now, uh, who knows? There's there's all these different security features that they've added to where you can get back into your wallet. But I know at one time uh, when a lot of these wallets were starting up. And if you just lost your information for whatever reason, or you thought you wrote it down right and you, you were off by one number on on your login, you could get locked out of your uh, wallet. So, But I'm, there's a lot more protections now than there was back then. So you also want to look at that. People want, may want to transfer their XRP. Usually if you transfer your XRP from a trading platform, they may charge you fees and all that other stuff. So just be aware of that. You know, at least until some of these other platforms 
that do sell XRP, like Coinbase and a few others, when they become available, uh, then you'll be then you'll be able to trade on those again, and I'll be able to trade back with Coinbase again. For me, it's all about trust, and because folks, I have lost a lot of coins because I've had exchanges shut down on me, and because of exchanges shut down on me, I lost you know hours and hours of mining and hours of clicking on ads and watching ads and doing all that. And then you end up losing a lot. You end up losing most of it. You know, during the whole you know, that was then when I was doing crypto mining and how you can earn crypto with watching ads and doing all this, these other things. I was doing all that. So anyways, folks, I just wanted to show you that so you can prepare yourself. So as I talk, as I go on in making other XRP videos, uh, at least there'll be a video you can refer to on how to set a limit order, a buy limit order. So for, don't forget, folks, the links are down below in the description to KuCoin and to Uphold. So I thank you guys for listening. God bless. TC out.